So this is the JPX 900 driver. Um, I've been using it now for about a month. Um, I had it set up by Alex, our tour manager. There is so much adjustability with it. It is so important to get it set up right. This is how you would buy it. Okay, so we've got it set at nine and a half with a neutral club face weight, slightly further back, medium spin. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit a few how you'd get it normally. And then what we'll do is I'll put it back into the, the setting that I'm on now and we'll see a big difference in um, the figures from that way. Okay, so my driving generally, I see the ball move a little bit left to right in the air. Um, so as we go through, I'll show you where we move the weights that suited me. Okay, so hit another couple. Okay, so just moving a little bit left to right in the air now. Okay, same again. Okay, one more. Okay, so quite a low flight. You want to see that go a little bit higher in the air. Um, that could be just to do with the standard loft, nine and a half degree, not quite getting the initial launch that we're looking for. Um, figures wise, if we look on here, okay, so what we're seeing is that the dynamic loft at impact is coming in at 10.1. Now, ideally, you'd want to see that go a little bit higher just to get a little bit more of an initial launch, get the ball up in the air. So, spins a little bit higher. Okay, so up to 3.9, we'd want to see that idea a little bit lower, somewhere around the 2.9 mark. Okay, let me hit one more, and then we'll have a bit of a play around. Okay, it's the same again, just moving a little bit left to right in the air. Quite a low flight to begin with. Okay, so it almost looks like it's going quite low and then spinning up into the air. So ideally what I'd want to see is get that launch up a little bit higher. Distance is quite low. Um, I'd want to see maybe a little bit, a little bit more yardage out of that, 238, 234 and then 247. Maybe if we can get a little bit more of the launch up, we can get the ball coming off the face a little bit quicker, a little bit higher and get an ultimate, a little bit more carry out of the shot. Okay, so added a little bit of loft. Okay, so we're now up to 11 and a half degree. So just gonna see if we can get that initial launch up a little bit higher. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is set the face open and then take one of the eight gram weights out and pop it more to the draw bias. Okay, so I wanna see it flying a little bit straighter rather than that tail off to the right at the end. Okay, so now we can see the difference with the driver. Okay, so this is how my driver is set up normally. Okay, so we're now at 11 and a half degrees. Should see a slightly higher launch. Um, eight gram weight more towards the draw bias, so you should see a slightly straighter ball flight. Okay, so again, a much more neutral flight. It's even starting to go a little bit right to left, which is good. Okay, so carry was up on that one. Carrying at 253, spin rate was 23. So that's even a little bit lower than the normal. I would expect to see my spin rate at about 28. So what that does, that gives me a bit more of a ball flight. I don't swing it as fast as the guys on the European Tour. Their clubhead speeds are 112, 113. They'll be looking to get spin rate of about 1800 to 22. Okay, so if I was to hit it at 1900 to 22 spin, I wouldn't get a ball flight. Okay, so it would drop out the air and I would lose a lot of carry. Okay, so I'm just trying to get a little bit more spin to get a little bit more flight out of it to make the maximum drive. Okay, let's hit another one. Okay, so same again, moving a little bit right to left in the air. Much higher flight. Looks like it's getting out in the air, launching a little bit higher and going a bit further. Okay, carry was 242. Again, spin rate 24. Smash factor 1.44. So, first three, 238, 234, 247. By changing the loft launch angles, we've now got a carry at 253, 242. Okay, spin rate has dropped 
down a little bit as well. Okay, so moving the eight gram weight from where we had it at position three, uh, we're now gonna move it slightly further back to position four, see if we can generate a little bit more spin. Okay, see if we can get a little bit more of a ball flight out of it. So at the moment, spin rate just looks a little bit low, just not quite getting enough out of it. Let's see if we can get a bit more of a ball flight. Okay, not the best to strike, it's a little bit toey. Again, it's not too much offline. Still pretty straight. Okay, let me get another one. Okay, so didn't quite get that one. Uh, that was a little bit toey. Again, spin rate jumped up to 2.9. So just by moving that weight back, we added a little bit more spin to it. Okay, what's quite interesting now, since I've put the weight in the draw setting, ball flight has started to straighten out. We've lost the tail off to the right hand side. Okay, so the fade. So we're getting much more of a neutral flight, if not a bit of a draw. Okay, let's see if we can get a bit more carry. Okay, so a good strike out the middle, a little bit of a draw. Over the back. That was a good one. Okay, so carries up to 252. Okay, so longest of the day so far. So what we've got here, this is the worst possible setting. Okay, so I've put the weight into the fade position, spins at low, okay, and then we're lofting it at seven and a half degrees. So this just shows the wide array of what the driver can do. Okay, so really low flight, moving left to right, and it's not gone anywhere, it's really short. So it carries 234, spin rate all the way down to 1,100, so no ball flight on that at all. Okay, so it almost just dived out of the air, went straight, straight right along the ground. So seven and a half degree, eight gram weight in the toe of the golf club. Okay, again, just low and right. Missing the, missing the right hand side. 230 carry, spin rate 27. Okay, so we've lost quite a lot of distance there just by moving the weights around in the driver. Okay, so we'll hit one more in a seven and a half degree. Okay, so again, really low left to right. Good links flight. Okay, so what I'm going to do, set it back to where we were. Okay, so let's see the difference between the two. <laughs> Completely different. Completely different. Okay, so figures wise, if we go back to what we've looked at today, um, what we can see is that the, the worst setting, which we've got on here, um, was carrying at 218. Okay, and then the best one that we had today, when we got the setting right, was 253. Now that's quite a big difference between getting the driver set up right and the driver set up wrong. Um, so come on down, come to the fitting studios, we can get you set up. Um, and hopefully get the maximum out of your new driver.